been thinking long and hard about this, and I think this war is going on for a very long time. And it's starting to become a little bit aggravating, fighting this war. I really do think that. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't want to deal with all this. All this is going to be pretty much a pain to deal with. And dealing with a lot of these Russian troops is starting to become evil and evil dealers. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ignore the problem entirely by getting a, a separate peace with the Soviet Union. So that. Now we got that. It kind of got a war goes a little bit wet, less. Let's see, where's our Scotland acquires? Yeah, we still have to get Scotland. Anyways, yeah. I wanted to do that because you know what? It's There's no point in my men being here anymore. All we're going to do if we stay in that land is we're just going to go help the, uh... Wait, are these guys my enemy too? No, they're not. So I'm not going to go in that land. Anyways, all we're going to do is just start helping the, uh, Soviets gain... I'm going to move you over here so you don't interfere. Okay, sorry about that. For some reason, Fraps is being a jerk to this week and just keeps, like, ult tabbing. And as you guys know, if you guys have ever used Fraps before, when you alt tab, it basically crashes the game. So I had to go out, go back in, and get back in this game. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. So we're just going to be, since we don't have to deal with Russia anymore, that's going to be a treat for us. Because no longer will we have to deal with the big, gigantic red nation in front of us, but we'll just have to deal with all these other nations. Um, first off, let's go kill off these guys. These, this, that's kind of stupid. Great Britain, are you really thinking that's going to stop me? I mean, you guys are kind of a small nation compared to me. And I'm slightly bigger than you. And, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't really have many other points besides I'm bigger than you, and I'm more powerful than you, and this is probably going to kill you. Anyways, yeah, we're just going to just ignore the Russian conflict and just completely bypass them. We don't even need to be fighting in Russia anymore. Th this is this is how this is how seldomly I think of this is that we don't even need to be fighting in Russia anymore. We don't need the Russians on our side. We don't need them to be against us. Well, they're really against us. We don't need them anymore. I mean, we can honestly just go in and go fight people ourselves, which is exactly what we're doing. We're just gonna go in fight off of as many of these guys as we can and then just go kick their butt <laughs> I mean there's not much I, I don't in all honesty guys we could basically Austria is basically a sham I, I I mean look at this I have 40k just lined up right on their border not even a couple inches from their heads and I'm not in the knife and flinching that's kind of a rule a stupid rule one I guess you guys should be flinching when you see a gigantic army that's like 12 times your size. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have you guys move right there. And with my super duper efficient sieging ways, we should be able to conquer these guys in a very, very short amount of time. Which will then make the only big threat for us to deal with is the actual UK. Which, I've been thinking long and hard about this. And I think I'm going to use Germany as a base of operations. And we're going to use that from there to go in and go kick the butt out of the UK. Because what I'm basically going to do is move, once this war is over over here, I'm going to move all my soldiers out of here. And then we're just going to go start landing troops into the UK. And I think if I just conquer just a couple regions, and I don't even need to own much. But if I just conquer just a couple regions, I'll be able to hold enough. Now, the problem is, if you guys haven't guessed already, is trying to get all my soldiers all the way down there. Plus, it's also... When did I... Oh, that's the United States. Oh! <laughs> I thought that was our color. I was like, when did I do all this? Oh, it's the United States. Oh. Oh my goodness. The United States is... Oh my goodness. The United States is made... Oh, and Japan! <gasps> Japan is actually doing something. Yes. Wait, what? Portugal? But... Oh, that's Bashir. Oh. That makes... Oh, and it's independent. Oh, and... Oh, yeah, it's independent. Yeah. I just remember that. Yep. <laughs> that that kind of brought a tear to my eye right there. So yeah, those guys are independent, but they're independent. Yeah. Germany seems like it's gonna be able to deal with this rebel bomb though. Anyways, let's get back to this war. 
Um, yeah, we're just going to be tightening up our grit over here. We're just going to be destroying everything that the Austrians hold dear to their hearts. I mean, there's nothing now I don't like that I am not going to destroy about them. I mean, we can easily... Their land is not that hard to siege. <laughs> and now that the big, gigantic, scary Russian friends are out of the way, shh, we'll be able to just pound right through everything. Won't even have to really look at it. I mean, look at this. We're just... Again, the Austrians aren't that strong right now, and they're just being demolished by my army. I mean, no matter what they do, they just... They're feeling the hurt right now, and I'm all the way... And I should point this out right now. I'm in a country all the way across the world. I mean, literally, we're not even in the same sphere of influence, and I'm fighting you with, like, a hundred... This is, like, almost 500... This is, like, almost a horde kind of stats. I have 500k soldiers just sitting there, and I bet a lot of you think, well, James, does that mean they're all stranded? Uh, no, because I could still possibly get military access with the Turkey. Well, I know with Turkey, they like us. So I get military access with them, and I could probably get military access with Persia. Get my troops out of there. Or, yeah. There's different ways I could probably do it. Anyways, let's get back to over here, because I have to kill all these guys. Oh, Great Britain's not going to give up. Okay, let's see. They're moving towards Jambi. Kill Jambi. Yes, please, just kill all these guys. I want this island completely underneath our control, so we can start getting war score against the... Okay, anyways, get back to these battles, or I really shouldn't be calling them battles, that's, that's, I think that's a little bit too generous of a word. I think the better term is hostile attack aggression status, that did not sound cool. <laughs> I, I was trying to come up with something more precise in the ways of how you would address a speci specific situation, but I couldn't come up with the words. Anyways, we're just... yeah. And then, seems like some back troops are trying to backlash and try to help them out. Yeah, they can't even guard their own country. How are they going to guard against me? And look at that. The rebels are just running amok. And gosh, it's so disgraceful to the Europeans. How they can just let the rebels run amok. I mean, look at this. I'm having to clean up for them. And I'm doing it with a good amount of big guts, though, too. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, we got more of these guys. They're heading... <laughs> they just... They just don't know where to go, do they? They're almost completely lost in this entire exchange. Let's go right here. Alright, yeah, and look at this. I'm almost done conquering all the land. Because my troops have had experience from conquering Soviet land. We know what's up. We know how to conquer land. Yeah, we're experienced. Okay, let's go right there. And then let's go to Vienna. Let's go to Bruno. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we're right there at Vienna, and it didn't even take us that long to get there to Vienna. I mean, that, that's, just, that's just showing you guys how quickly we can do this, and how easily the Austrians can be defeated. Now that we're actually over here, they can be defeated so quickly. Austria is moving towards Ugenbahi. Ugen, okay. I'm going to send some troops to go chase down the rest of that army, because we want to make sure it all dies. We don't want them to. Oh my goodness, my troops just like spread out and I saw that. That was creepy. This all spread out in uniformity. It's just like boom, boom. Oh, dude, that's creepy. Okay, I'm gonna go send you guys to go crush that troops. Yeah, here comes our massive hordes just like raining death and destruction onto. Actually, these guys need more help. I don't know why, but for some reason we're having some difficulty taking down the rest of the Austrian front. You know, it's kind of easy at this point. I mean,. We're just moving in. We're going to occupy all their land in a very, very short amount of time. And then these guys should be able to win against that. These guys have a tank. How are you guys not defeating them? Like, seriously. You guys have a tank. Look at that. This guy had a tank, and he did pretty good. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then all of this land is just being the smallest. We, we are not being friendly to our neighbors. Well, we are being friendly in the sense that we are liberating them from their own tyranny, I guess? Okay, wow, these troops are going to be stubborn, okay. I'm just going to move down, conquer the rest of these places right here, that way I get the rest of Sumatra, and then I'll go deal with these troops. That way I have this completely conquered, so it gives me some war score, and yeah. Okay, back to over here, back to all my friends that are finishing conquest, go right here. This should finish very soon. I'm gonna combine whatever soldiers are in here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to reorganize my entire army once this is all done. But yeah, uh, yeah. See, they that should be happening. They should be dying, and then that troop should be finishing up. 
Yeah, and then these guys should be moving in. Yeah, this is this is all going great. We can speed it up just a little bit. Okay, Bruno's now done. Let's go right here. Split the army in half. And Vienna's almost conquered again. Well, again by me. And oh my goodness, yeah, Austria is just not ready for my soldiers. They are not ready for the hurt that India can bring. Which is the greatest feeling in the world when you know that you can just basically bring a hurt to an entirely other country in the foreign parts of the world, which you have really no business being in, but yet you can just destroy them. I mean, it, it, fills, your, it fills your mind with such joy right there. I, I don't know why, but it fills your mind with just such joy when you can do that. And then the Soviet, the, I don't know who's trying to take over right now. Is it the Polish nationalists? Okay, the Polish nationalists are trying to take over Russia if you want. Um, good for them. About time we have a Polish leader in Russia. Okay, now we have Austrian forces right over there. Okay, we could probably divide this army, but I'm not going to. Uh, and then all these little tiny nations. Oh my gosh, this is like, uh, man, not even a threat. Just not even a threat. I'm not even this. I, I know, I know, I know they shouldn't be a threat to me because I am like the second biggest army in the world, but still, you know, you kind of expect just a little bit more from the European powers. I mean, this is a European power. I mean, Russia, I can give excuses because Russia just almost in every game is always a little bit bad. I don't know why, they just never program the AI very well to the point they'll actually do stuff. It's just always a little bit bad, but I mean, Austria, that's like typical class A, you know, superpower. This doesn't even get more super than that. Okay, and you guys are just splitting up. I'm just rapidly splitting up more of the uh, Austrian cars. We're almost conquering Vienna. Vienna, okay, you guys are done. You guys are done. And we're going to conquer the rest of Serbia. Probably feed the Serbians at the same time. You know, I... Dang it. I really wish that was a, actually a, a feature that they add in this, where you could actually free the Serbians or free other nations that have been imprisoned. Like, if you conquered the entire place, I wish you could, like, free them. Alright, you guys are still not dead, kill them. Just, just, I, I mean, th there is no practicality for these babies being here. Okay, I'm gonna go move you guys in because you guys are gonna take a long time. Otherwise, okay. Okay, next, move in you guys. Actually, some other troops can deal with it. I'm gonna move you guys over here so you guys can all spread out and start conquering all this a little bit quicker. You guys go right here, and we're about to split up the country again. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. And Japan?! What? What? Japan's over here too? With samurai? Oh my goodness. Now I feel like we got a little bit too comical now. It's just like... This has got to be like the greatest moment ever in Asian in Asian history, everyone. We are... We have wrapped... We have taken over European power. And we're doing it with old ideals too. That's... That's just too good. That's just rich. A better way of putting it. That's just rich. Okay. Let's go right here. Let's go right there. Okay, and let's go right there. Okay, and then you guys. Gosh, is this a 30 army? Okay. Go send all these guys to go crush it. I actually... Okay. The 65k, yeah, we should be able to win against that pretty dang easily. I mean, I have pretty much good troops. Good morale, maybe maybe not because sometimes this game is really stupid. Even though I have all the technology I should, this game is still not gonna let me win, is it? Good, that's really good. Okay, let's go back to over here to make sure everything's fine. And British are now sending more and more troops. That's not good. Let's go kill these guys. Now we have all this conquered, so it should start giving us a advantage. Acquire Sumatra fulfilled in semi friendly. What? I should have all the region of Sumatra underneath my control. Oh, this is a part of Sumatra. So is that part of Sumatra. Okay. Let me go kill off the rest of these guys over here in the British land because I can deal with one troops. When they start getting that big, that's when we start having difficulties. Okay, trouble is brewing. Yeah, let's get an alliance with Persia. Persia, now best friends. <laughs> uh, and now the Soviet Union is collapsing under its own weight because I destroyed everything it had. That's what usually happens to Soviets, you don't mess with India. Um, we have a big gigantic war going on over here. I'm just going to go throw in more army because that's basically the last stand of the uh, Austrians. And we want to make sure they, they want, I want to make them feel like they actually did do a good fight. 
I, I don't want to make them feel like we just sent in little tiny armies, but we want to make them feel like they are actually appreciated as an enemy of war. And, yeah, we just won against that battle. Excellent. Excellent. Let me go down here. Yeah, did we destroy him? No! Gosh dang it! Finish them off already, guys! Seriously! Ah! Uh, like, does no one know how to finish off enemies anymore? Okay. Like, I'm I'm seriously just gonna, like, for the next, like, couple weeks, just, like, focus in on the Sumatra War, because this is really starting to aggravate me. Uh... Uh, this is not really aggravating me because this is just basically I'm I've won. <laughs> I mean, there's 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 really no other way you could describe it is I won. I mean, I hope the British will understand that I won and not give me so much heartache with me trying to reconquer all the land. Vienna is now fallen. Okay, you guys. Okay, and then they're going down there. They're gonna go right there. Okay. Gosh. This is just a massive, massive, massive conquest. Okay, so, Austria, would you like a separate piece? I am amazed that you guys can still stay in for this, even though you guys are basically all dead. You know, it takes a lot of effort, Austria, to admit that you're wrong. And you guys are definitely wrong in this situation. So let's see, who's this total military strength? It's most- Australia? Really? Australia has a military strength? Gosh! I didn't know they even had anything. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna do this a little bit more smart. I'm going to attack him, and then I'm just going to keep my men there. Okay. So we're gonna send in... We're gonna combine all these guys. We're gonna send in that many. We're gonna divide... No, we're not gonna... Wait, whoops. Didn't mean divide it. So we're gonna send in different men all across the region. We're gonna send men right there. We're gonna go keep some men right here. Okay, and we're basically just going to surround this entire unit so that it has to, it has to die. That's basically what I'm trying to do, is simulate death for this unit. And then the Germans did something, probably gained more land, not necessarily bad. Okay, we're going to move over here, send in those guys. Okay, if this does not kill this unit, because I'm basically over surrounding it, it better die. Oh my goodness, I lost so many men the first time around, I'm not losing. Okay, yeah, we are basically going to do that. I'm going to send in, okay, breed, whatever. Send in everyone but him to go attack here. Because we want to make sure that the British do not win this battle. Yeah, because that's going to be really bad if the British win that battle. Gosh, that'd be extremely terrible if the British won that battle. But they basically decided I wouldn't be able to do anything for a very, very long time over there. But I do have, like, a entirely new... Actually, let's go pick up this army. I mean, why don't we go, like, completely go and utterly just go destroy everything that China... Not China, but the, uh... People hold dear. The British. British! British! Okay. Um, over here we have some really annoying guys. I'm just gonna go send them in right now. We have 141k stack, death stack. Um, I'm gonna have this army basically group around here, surround this unit, that way we don't have to deal with it anymore. I think that's what I'm just gonna have to do, is to exterminate all the units around me, is I'm just gonna have to, like, divide. Okay, we're gonna send in some units there, send some units there. Cause this is, it's, it kinda gets annoying, the fact that there's a lot of these units I could honestly kill pretty dang easily, but for some reason they just don't die. Okay, let's see, then we have to divide this one. I mean, this is more for just keeping this in check. Um, we could go send in more people right there. And then we could probably divide the soldiers from there. Okay. Okay. And now we divide the soldiers. There we go. There. That unit is dead. No matter what, that unit is going to die. <laughs> uh, I'll also go do it with this unit, too. This one's slightly easier. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it, five provinces, really? Gosh. Okay, well, let me go conquer more of this. Go conquer more of this. Go conquer more of this. Go conquer more of bananas. Yeah, we're just rapidly cleaning up these guys. Okay, there we go. You guys go down. Okay, let's go. 
And then the American, even America is over here. Gosh, dang. This is why I love the American forces. It's so powerful. I mean, we're just cruising down over here. The British are basically reconquering all the land over here, but they actually don't have that many soldiers over here. And the British are about to just go in and just go take everything from Africa. Africa is basically all under American control. Um, part of America. Part of us also have a little outpost over here. Japan got over here? Wow! Yeah, we are destroying all of the alliances. Like, Sizzy, who are we against again? So I may strike at our enemies. Uh, Canada's all gone. Like, Canada's not even existence anymore. Um, yeah, the only two big players now is the British and, strangely, Austria. Austria somehow became a big power, which we will rectify here very soon. Um... Yeah, they're almost dead too, so, yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, we can also go get you guys, get on the ships, go right here. We're actually gonna, oh shoot, never mind, just keep them right here. We have a little bit of a, of a patrol navy, okay. Um, hopefully that, hopefully this Japan ship will be able to deal with it. Um, let's get back to over here in our times. We are just destroying whatever remains of this army, because I want this army dead. Whatever remains of that army, kill it. Okay, next, let's move down here. Alright, let's move down here, let's move down here. Let's move down here. Oh man, yeah, once these guys are out of the war paying us war reparations, I'm going to be so happy. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to be so... Okay, you guys go right there. Right, let's see, what little areas did I forget to do? Right there. Right, I could go send in... Not quite yet. Okay, they're about to die. Okay, yeah, let's just go send them into the rest of here. Okay, yeah. Or we could use this unit to go surround this unit right there. Let's go use this. Okay, then go right there, then go right there. Okay, there we go. That unit should be surrounded next turn. We should be able to kill off the rest of these six men. Which shouldn't be that hard, really, but yeah, there we go. There we go. And then the last part of Milan is conquered, and now we're just taking over all of Austria in a big gigantic session. And everyone, the Russians have formed again. And with that, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.